Hey folks, I have a new holster I want to show you. It's from Cleveland's Holster and it's a tuckable holster and it's right here. This one here is for my Walther PPS. And uh, let's head on over to the table and take a look at it. Hey folks, I have here a new holster from Cleveland's Holsters. It's made right here in Milwaukee. His name is Bobby Cleveland. Had a buddy recommend them to me, uh, told me they were very comfortable, so I had to give him a try. And I'm a, I'm a huge supporter of local businesses, and I've heard he makes a great product. So here's the holster. Kind of wanted to show you what it looks like before I wear it. Normally, when I do holsters, uh, when I do reviews, I get about three to four weeks of good wear to get, you know, let it break in a little bit, get some good comfort before I review it. But I kind of wanted to show you beforehand, um, uh, you know, a lot of people get these type holsters and put them on and think they're instantly going to be comfortable, where in honesty, all honesty, it takes at least a couple of weeks to break them in. So this is what it looks like. You see how flat it is right here. This one here is their standard cut, and it also comes in a cut version. They cut this portion out. So, but this is the beforehand. A couple of the things I really like about this holster, just right off the bat, he's got these screws right here, where a lot of, uh, some of the other companies use rivets. These screws allow you to adjust the holster, adjust the retention, stuff like that. You can use rivets right here. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different slots for you to adjust the cant and also how deep you can seal this in your pants. Something else I really like about it, covers the whole barrel. And also, it's a little bit higher than a lot of the Kydex. A lot of them kind of cut off right about there. He made this one higher so that once you pull your holster out, your pants doesn't fall over the holster, preventing you or making it difficult to reholster. So that's something I really like about this holster. He also has these clips, can be worn inside or outside the belt. And I also want to stress, you know, like I said, this here is made in Milwaukee. Every single part on this holster is American made. And he is literally called all over the place. You know, the leather and the kydex were fairly easy. Something as simple as these, these bolts right here, these screws, he had to call around, make sure he got something that was actually made in the United States. He also included this thread sealer here, and he originally was going to go with Loctite. He found out Loctite was made in Canada. So he called around, find out Vibratite is made in the USA. So even a little detail on this of, of the thread tightener, he, he got made in the United States. So you definitely got to check this guy out, man. Bobby Cleveland is the real deal. And if you support local businesses or small businesses like I do, you need to uh, check out his holsters. And Bobby's a little bit green. He wants you to recycle. So he put a little target on here so that after you're done with this packaging, you can take it to the range and shoot it. Bobby's all about the environment. And talking with Bobby, he was proud of the fact he offers uh, a 30 day no questions asked return. So if you get the holster, wear it for a few weeks, you don't like it, send it back, no questions asked. So, I'm gonna get back to you. I'm gonna wear this for about three to four weeks, break it in, and then I'll give you a, you know, a good detailed review of this holster. I just kinda of wanted to show you what it looked like beforehand. So, catch y'all later. I am back and it's been Approximately four weeks since I shot the initial video, the unpackaging video for the Cleveland's holsters. And I, I have to say I'm extremely happy with this holster. Out of the box, it was the most comfortable of all the tuckable holsters that I've tried. And it just got more comfortable from there. I've tried the um, Crossbreed holster, which I really like, and I'm not knocking any other brands. Uh, I've tried to crossbreed, and I have tried the Old Faithful. 
and both of those are excellent holsters. And like I said, nothing against those holsters. They're both excellent holsters. But this one is the most comfortable of the three. Uh, for example, on the old Faithful holsters, the way the rivets are in back, I actually had to put some moleskins on the back so they wouldn't dig into my skin. But these here are so smooth, you don't have to do that. You don't, you don't even feel them at all. And the burnished leather, the edges, so comfortable, you hardly feel it. But you'll notice on this one, see how it's curved to my body? If you set it in the same place every time, it's going to curve. Even on the bottom here, it started curving up. I don't know if this is, you know, it's kind of where the side of my uh, buttocks sits in. It's kind of cradled in that little spot there. And uh, it is extremely comfortable. I, I can't tell you enough how comfortable it is. Um, I really like how far down it sits, and that is adjustable. You can adjust it higher if you like, but I really like how low it sits. And this feature right here, this little raised flap that, as I mentioned in my first video, it keeps your pants from falling, falling over into the holster when you're reholstering. I can't tell you enough how much I like that. That is an awesome feature that I really like. So I would highly recommend this holster. You gotta give him a try. And Bobby Cleveland, he's just, you know, right now I think he's mostly a one guy shop. He's got a regular job. Um, you know, uh, I don't know what his hours are, but you know, a regular workday job that he does. So he does this in his extra time. And even so, you're still gonna get your holster pretty fast. So, and I wanna show you here uh, is his website. Hopefully you can see that. I got a lot of fingerprints on here. It's 100% um, American manufactured materials, 100% non-prorated lifetime guarantee. It's got a 30-day, no questions asked, money-back guarantee. Retail on this is 69 bucks. Then if you want to get the holster cut, that's an additional five. Then he also has these holster of the month specials where he runs them for 39 bucks. Right now it's the Walther P99. So I wanted to show you, uh, the retention on these is adjustable. You can adjust it so that it's easier to pull out or harder. And cant is adjustable. Right now the way it's set up from the shop is, is perfect. Um, the retention on it is really good. But you know you can grab it out quick. It's got a nice satisfactory click when you put it in. Right there. Excellent. Excellent product. And let me also show you. Here is the, this is the original cut that I showed you. And I wore this one for about two weeks. And you can see it started to fold to my body here. Um, and you can see some wear on here. I, I decided I, I, I wanted to go with this cut. And I prefer this one. And let me tell you one of the differences. This one here is extremely comfortable. Of the two, this one is the most comfort. So if you're looking for all day comfort, this is the one. And the reason, the way this sits, the gun doesn't touch your skin at all. So in this portion here, as a lot of you know, this is what digs into your skin. So with this holster, there is no digging in at all. It doesn't even touch your skin. Extremely comfortable. However, it's a little bit hard to grab for me. Um, with this pistol and you know every pistol I'm sure is probably different But for me on this pistol when it's up against my skin It was it was it was pretty tight and it was hard for me to get my hand around it So I definitely for me. I like the holster cut because I'll sacrifice some comfort for a better grip and as you can see this grip here is perfect I can grab it no problem at all so and the only discomfort you feel is is right here and it, it you know it digs in a little bit not bad at all um, for me Everybody's different, which is going to cause every holster to fit differently, and every gun's going to be a little bit different. So that's something you might have to try. For me, I would definitely recommend getting a five dollars additional to get that cut, just for that reason, just so you, uh, you know, just so you can grab it out quite a bit easier. If it was just a little bit of difference, I would have stayed with the other one. Um, but it's for me, it's significant the ease of taking it out. So. So anyway, if you have any questions or anything, let me know. Uh, if not, I, you know, I definitely recommend you go to his site. It's clevelandsholsters.com, and I'm going to post a link to it 
Um, give this guy a try. I, I think you'll be extremely happy, as was I. So if you have any questions, let me know. Semper Fi.